Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Half-Life 2. Now first things first, no this is not the game that I said was not gonna be Mega Man 6. Uh, that's still gonna be a Mega Man game coming up after Mega Man 5. And secondly, Hunt Down the Freeman was a huge train wreck, I'm sure we all know that. And uh, yeah, I, I, just li I just like to pretend now that it doesn't exist. So yeah, w again, welcome to Half-Life 2, a much better game and a revolutionary one, in my opinion. One that changed the scene for 2004 with its new source engine and new physics, all that good, good stuff. Without further ado, we will begin. I'm sure that this game... Well, Half-Life 1, of course, had its impact with the Gold Source engine. It had many mods, and... and hi, hi G-Man. I'm Rise sorry, I want, I'm want. i gonna have to talk over you. Not that so Half-Life 1 had its sleeping. fair share of mods. It no one birthed t Team Fortress, it birthed Counter-Strike. Um, it made mods like They soon. Hunger. So with Half-Life 2 and the Source Engine, imagine that, but times 10. Like, from this game's, like, graphical quality, which it still looks pretty damn good by today's standards. Like, it, it lives up with, along with some, like, games that have been made today, I think. But maybe that's stretching it a bit. But it definitely does look great. I mean, keep in mind, this was the year games like Far Cry 1 and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas came out. But I, I'm sure, like, along with this game's creativity, like, it spawned, like, people's new career paths. It birthed one of the most iconic mods, Gary's Mod, which later went on to be sold on Steam. And I'm just gonna, like, refer to some of the characters from fucking Gmod videos I used to watch. So, where are we? We can pick stuff up. The graphics are better. Who's this asshole on the screen? Why is everything shiny but yet very dirty? And why why are there cameras in my face? Ow. It's blind a blinding flashlight. Get out of here. You could just spend hours just picking shit up. And there is the Vortigaunts sweeping the floors. And this guy supervising him. Like, what the fuck is going on? Get out of here. Hey, the phone's for you. If I can get it over. And he, he doesn't even phase him. So, okay. We're 20 years in the future. That's where we are. We're in Europe. And for some reason, everyone speaks English. And these guys are pushing the citizens around. Hey, guess what? We were. We were the only ones. Yeah, you can basically just fuck around with these guys pathfinding. Okay, so anyways, these guys are part of the alien super threat called the Combine. Like, shortly, well not shortly, but probably way, way after the Resonance Cascade of Half-Life 1, uh, the Combine caught wind of that, Don't drink the water. and... Then the Seven Hour War occurs after Black Mesa is like blown up. 
guy's not even phased. Yeah, that basically resulted in Earth's militaries just being defeated in a mere seven hours, hence the name of Seven Hour War. So now we all live under the oppression of the Combine, and hence the name Combine. They are a combination of the uh, races across the universe that they have enslaved, so that's why these guys are all human. So now we, we basically live in a place where life just isn't life at all. You know, half-life. Haha. -ha. Cause it's a double entendre. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. I wanted to see what happened to that guy. Nightmares about your trips to the dentist probably looked like this, didn't they? Uh, he's gonna rape me for sure. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the hey. put on a show. For yeah, I remember you. You you were you used to be several security guards, and now you are just one. Now with the source engine, we can differentiate the characters a little more. We can give more variety. So now Dr. Kleiner here is his own character. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Alright, so now this ba is basically just teaching you. You can pick stuff up. It's a new physics engine, because physics have something to do with science, right? So we all we need really is just one box over here. Easy. Oh, I ga I gained weight in my 20 years stasis. I, I broke that box. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I cut out as many of those loading screens as I can. All right, let's make our way up here. And here's one of the many instances where you can be like, okay, so he asked us, yeah, he's asking us, put that, this can, in this garbage can, which we can do. And yeah, he'll let us go, but I don't want to do that. So, do we abide by the man, or are we a Gordon Free man. I choose the rebellious path. It's going off the hook. It's for you. Yeah, you can't get by those guys. They're trying to collect something. What is that? What, what is this? Like a, a ration? Is that? Did he just pick up a ration? Uh, um. A fucking MRE, a meal ready to eat. This is for you. Uh. Now there's suddenly two of them after me? How did that happen? Oh, have, have fun, guys. 
Here we go, the first, like, wide open space. Terminal. Luigi, Luigi, you got Terminal 7. I can't, I can't do that. Like, town square or some shit. Yeah, just all these, like, walls and shit just are just being built. There's the citadel. The reminder of the Combine's power, I guess you could say. And here we're about to see some more oppression. Like, you can clearly see that guy in there is about to get raped. You have no privacy. So, like, he's got two cameras on him. Like, Jesus. Uh, we, ju we just missed the strider, but whatever. It's mostly just showing off technology. Whereas Half-Life, you know, Half-Life 1 was all about the... Oh, there's this. There, you can see the strider better there now. This guy either, like, jumped out of a window or he just got fucking well his legs are up and he's got his hands over his head like half half life 1 was only the beginning and then half life 2 just punches you in the stomach this is how it always starts first the building then the whole block and they have no reason to come to our place don't worry they'll find one <laughs> they will they will find one, won't they? Play us some tic-tac-toe if you want. The echoing of children. Because, yeah, they also put up a suppression field, the Combine, that prevents humans from having sex. So, everybody is pretty much sterile. <laughs> kind of experiment with the with the physics here I'm so fat I'm able to make cinder blocks go flying and then this thing if I can get it moving the right way goes really fast yeah you just have to like push yourself up against this Whoa! Fizax. Can we climb up this slide? I thought I, I thought you could. Eh. Here's a doll that makes a weird noise. You guys want a doll? Oh god! I did I thought I missed him. He came right fucking after me. Okay, he's gone. So I think I think we're about to go into the, one of the apartment complexes. Yeah. City streets are still blocked to us. Get these matrix stairways, you know, like Neo running from agents. Uh, he's gonna block that way. You can see how how big of assholes the Combine are. Is it, like, there's stuff happening back there. They, they just break in with complete disregard to human life. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. There's no door here, dummy. No, I, wanna, I wanted to throw that at him. There's no door. Fuck. There's no door here. No more. Cut it out. You're drunk. Watch it, will you? Yeah. Oh. Change the channel. Get some better furniture. I told you they'd be coming for us next. This is one level. Uh, what? I can't. Okay, I guess I can't break that window. I'm going, I'm going. 
And then this is these guys are like re reoccurring characters. The they're like the couple. Fuck your TV. I'm Gordon Freeman, motherfucker. Fuck your universe. Yeah. Fuck the police. I am a master of physics. Oh, can't go that way. Let's go. One more, just one more window. Just a couple, a couple more windows. Okay, yeah, gotta go upstairs. Get in here quick. Keep moving. Head for the roof. Okay. Basically, you are not free. <laughs> Do you know why we're here, Mr. Freeman? We are not here because we're free. We are here because we're not free. What we're going to fix, because we're, we're Gordon Freeman. Like I said, five times now. Uh, God, I'm so fat. Uh, can't go that way. Can't go. Okay, I guess I'll accept my death. Graphics. Get out of my personal bubble now, please. You are making me very uncomfortable. But still, like, everybody's face and facial expressions and animations, especially Alex here specifically, looks fantastic for 2004. No, I don't remember you. Think think for some reason Gordon keeps a picture of baby Alex in his locker in the first half-life. That's that's like the only It's like the only instance of Alex in Half-Life 1. Yeah. The big guy on the screen that was Dr. Breen, like Alex said. And why is that? I mean, I guess we wouldn't have a game if I didn't show up, right? We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure, I guess. That's nice of you. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Yeah, likewise. What? Where's my drink? Ooh, technology. Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there. Uh oh, everything all right, Doctor Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... Lamar, of goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Yeah, there's like one of the first G-Man sightings. 
While they're still speaking here, I guess I could show off the mini teleporter. And you can, like, send a book through it. There's like an achievement you can get for doing that. Can I send this like eight track through here? Guess I have to put it on this side. Uh, I'm missing this stuff. Yeah, Kleiner's got a pet head crab. Okay, then if that's the case, why is she still all bloody underneath? You'd think they would make a different texture for this particular head crab. Like, you could argue that the blood is like their natural uh, underbelly color. But I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. All right. Welcome to the HEV Mark V protective system. Yeah, just like a couple of the couple of sound effects I added. I just thought it was cool. Look at that. Classic screensaver over here. Like, what do you even need the this Mark one for, then? Hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger yes. on the wall. 25 suit. suit Ooh, it's the black... Outfit. It's a Black Mesa Wherever photo. Uh, Meanwhile, man... Eli. Uh, what the, oh, what the fuck? I was looking at that. It's like a secret lever for his retinal scanner. Uh, who else? I think that's Breen blocked out. Cause he's an asshole. Uh, Stalin. <laughs> Kleiner. There's me. And, of course, Person. Head on in here. This thing looks like Wheatley from Portal 2. Why don't you position yourself near the or does Wheatley yeah, from Portal 2 look like this thing? Huh? That's not who I think it is, is it? Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to zero, base, and LT orbifold. Hilbert and Lucy. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, No one cares about the one. cat. Dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? Yeah, okay. Right there, yeah, d shut up. Damn right I'm gonna All throw right. that switch. Very good. Throne. Now. <laughs> okay. One of the most ridiculous sounds. <laughs> well, what, what a ridiculous sound for teleporting. Thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, isn't it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. 
Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, Barney. He just, just the absolute best. Great, just great. Fucking asshole. Get this going. Yeah, nothing's gonna go bad because I'm in here, right? Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your head head hopper. Oh god. It's Mad Max. Grab the globe. Oh, no, I can't. Then how did Lamar survive, huh? shark in the game. Ah, I don't want to get blinded by those cameras. Let's go. Alright, now I think this is where the game officially starts.